Welcome, in this video we are testing the Galaxy S10 on US Mobile. US Mobile is a great prepaid carrier offering affordable plans and rates with coverage on Verizon's network. So let's test them out. We're gonna be testing calling, texting, cellular data, and the personal hotspot in this video on the Galaxy S10 to see what works. So first, we're just gonna take the US Mobile SIM card here and slide that right into the phone this is on US Mobile's Super LTE network, uh, which means it uses the Verizon network. All right, so we got a service provider update. We're gonna do that, and um, looks like it's restarting. And we'll jump back. We're back. Let's swipe up to unlock, enter in my secure code, and okay. So this is the Wi-Fi. We're actually not gonna need Wi-Fi for this one because we wanna test out the cellular data. So we're gonna disconnect from that. And first let's try messaging. So I've got my handy dandy iPhone XS. Let me unlock this with my face. Boom, you can see I was just adding some more data for this test here. So now we have plenty of it. And let's use the default Samsung messaging application and let's send over a message. This is going to mint trial, because so I have a trial sim with them. And let us say, hey. Boom, that went through. So I'll say, hello. Texting is clearly working beautifully on these two devices. Let's try a picture message. Just do one of Galaxy S10. I was testing out the Sandmark wide angle lens for the iPhone for taking some of these pictures. We can send that over, see if it is received. It looks like it's downloading. Okay, perfect, downloaded. Something that's great right now is with US Mobile, I did not have to configure any custom APN settings to get group messaging or picture messaging to work. So everything is going through automatically. We can try a group message. Hmm, that's weird. Group messages do not appear to be going through on the default Samsung messaging application. I was having some issues with that on the Mint Mobile network as well. Let me try actually opening up the messages app by Google. We'll use this as our default messaging app. Okay, uh, this is saying the same invalid address, that's fine. Let's try um, test, doom, send. Okay, so that looks like it went through. I'm not sure invalid destination addresses. Okay, boom, it immediately went through on my Hangouts and it went through on my regular. So let me reply, so I'll say, hey. But we can get uh, a wave emoji. I like how that pops up automatically. We'll see if those things go through. And maybe we can try another picture messages. All right, so Mint Trial's getting it, boom. Wow, we get some automatic suggestions. That's amazing. So we can say what's up. I like, wow, everything seems to be working great right now. Maybe it's just the built-in Samsung messaging application. How weird is that? That is so weird. For two out of two carriers I've tested it on, it seems to have problems both on Mint and on US Mobile for some weird reason. But the good news is the Google messaging app is free. It's available on the Play Store. And um, again, you just search messages and it comes right up, messages by Google LLC. And this has solved all of my messaging problems. That's amazing. Uh, and let's just try sending a picture in here. So we'll go here, we'll go to our photos. Um, we can try sending a picture of this car. See if that goes through. And there it is. Okay, so yeah, the Google Messages app fixes all of the messaging problems. I do not recommend using the built-in Samsung Messages app at all. It's weird, I can't explain it, but the Google Messages app fixes all of my problems. You can also consider other messaging apps like Textra, uh, for additional features and service. Okay, now let's try placing a phone call. We will call the Mint trial number, which I guess is oddly renamed to Galaxy S10. All right, that's, everything's going through. We'll accept, um, we'll put it on speaker, 
And yep, we're getting that horrible echo. So everything is working normally in terms of calling. We can hang up. One thing to note about calling on US mobile is Wi-Fi calling is currently not supported. Uh, but otherwise, everything works great. And as you would expect, visual voicemail is not supported natively on Android phones, but you can get third-party voicemail applications. I was testing out Umail, and that worked fine for me. So you can definitely consider that if you're interested. And finally, the feature we're all wondering about, cellular data. Let's head into Ookla speed test and run a couple of speed tests here. Make sure to turn off Wi-Fi and make sure we are using that cellular data connection. Uh, it does say Verizon at the bottom left, so that can kind of verify. This is US Mobile's super LTE network running on the Verizon network for coverage. We'll kind of see what speeds I'm getting right now. So these speeds aren't the greatest in my current location, but that's fine. You know, cellular data speeds really do depend on where you are the network uh, congestion and how many people are trying to use it. And it just so happens my current location doesn't get the best Verizon speeds, it does get pretty good speeds on some other networks, but just not the Verizon network for whatever reason. Still coverage has been very excellent, very reliable and robust for me. And um, yeah, if you're looking for affordable Verizon coverage, I think US Mobile is a great carrier to consider for that. So you can see I was getting about 3.35 megabits per second down, about three up. Again, not the greatest, but that's okay. The last feature I really wanna test out is the mobile hotspot. Let's see if that is supported. So we'll just go into our settings here. We will toggle that on and see if it'll work. Okay, it looks like it is. We'll go into my iPhone. We'll go to um, cancel this. We'll go to Wi-Fi and Android. This is it. Password is subscribe course a shameless plug and join let's see if this works there you go it looks like it has connected properly the iPhone has connected let's jump over into this speed test application I actually have no idea where I put it boom exactly what I was looking for let's go back speed test go and see what kind of speeds we are connecting of course I would expect to get about the same three down and three up and yep, we can see we're getting just a little bit under that, but that is okay. It looks like the hotspot is working and that is really what I wanna see here. The personal hotspot is one of my favorite features on cell phone carriers. I don't know why it's extra or why you need to pay more for it. If you opt for one of US Mobile's custom plans, it is included for free, which is awesome. I love to see that. If you go with one of their unlimited plans, it is $10 extra. But there you go, there you have it. Everything is working beautifully on the Galaxy S10 with US Mobile. Again, just make sure to get the Google messaging application to resolve any group and picture messaging issues. I'm Stetson. Like this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.